Hey, what's up everybody? Spavrock here, and today, this is a video for everybody. So, for Ibuki players, you're going to learn how to do the side switch properly, somewhat, <laughs> after the air target combo. And for people who get hit by Ibuki and want to learn how to block it, there are some ways to uh, see what side she's going to go, okay? Um, disclaimer, the real messed up part about this little reset is that, like, as much as I want to control it, sometimes it doesn't go my way. Like, say I do the setup that it's going to go cross up, maybe I'm like a frame off. And I'm going to explain what I look for, because honestly, you can look anywhere and nobody really knows how to control it. Well, for me at least. For me, I have like some way to, to see what I want to do. And it, it's like, I want to say 80% right. Sometimes I just mess up and I land in front or I cross up by accident. But, hey, if they get hit, they get hit. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, hey, Spab, why are you giving away the secrets? Hey, man, even if you know where it's going to go, it's still hard to block. Um, another disclaimer. If you play a grappler, or well, not grappler. If you play a character with a big body, like Geef, Birdie, Alex, this, um, you, this, this little reset is kind of fake on them. I know for sure it doesn't work on Geef. I felt like I, I've done it on Geef, I mean on Birdie before, but... Uh, I'm not sure, but there is a way to cross up on them. So right now I'm gonna reiterate it. But if you play like a gra like a big body character like that, definitely just it's it's always gonna stay in front like 90% of the time. So don't even worry. Don't even try to block a cross up ever. Okay, so let's just get into it. So uh, as you guys know, you guys are you know, you see like Dalzim right here, you know, just chilling, and then he gets hit right. So boom, boom, boom. And then cross it, right? And that's a lot of damage for a reset and, and then the stun. And then I could probably go boop and then the stun. Right? Pretty cheap. I agree. But um always take the throw against the boot players. That's a tip that a lot of people don't know. Um yeah, so the target combo in the air, right? So if you're doing it, right? Let's say I want to stay in front. All right, hopefully I don't mess it up. But the the rule of thumb is you do the target combo faster, right? And then you dash right away. No matter what, you're always going to land and dash right away, okay? But um, the faster the target combo is initially, it's definitely going to stay in front. And I'll show you what I mean. See? Okay, so with that said, right? Um, I hope I don't mess it up because like, like when I tell you guys... Um, that it's gonna mess up randomly. Like I probably say I'm gonna cross up and I stay in front. That's literally what happens. It's it's kind of a busted mix-up. But um, yeah. So when you do the target combo, right? Uh, I mean the the ex kunai right here. Right when the explosion happens, that's when you that's when you do the roundhouse command uh command dash, right? Command jump. All right. So I did it pretty fast right there. Now uh. This one to cross up is actually is actually pretty difficult. So I always tell people usually just stay just block front. Just you just want to block front a lot of time. If you're a grappler, you no matter what block front. But uh, it's it's a lot harder to cross up. I, I, it's probably it's probably a lot harder for me to cross up. But I, I kind of like I've played enough and it's kind of in my head. It's like a weird thing where you don't really know the timing, but uh, like you. You know, you, you feel it. And that's something that happens over time. So if you're playing, like, people with pocket of bookies, fuck that. Just, uh, just block front, I'm telling you. But if you play somebody like me or, like, Shine or something, it's gonna mess you up. See, like, I did it faster. So if you want to cross up, you gotta do it slower. Alright? And I'm doing it pretty consistently right now. So, um, again, if I, if I, I could, I could do it a little bit slower, right? And get the cross up. And then, and then delay the dash and stay in front. But you gotta kind of see it, all right? So let me try to cross up again. Oops. Oh, see, I messed up. I'm telling you, it's very inconsistent. But the the main thing you're doing is, you if you see them explode, like if you see the kunai explode, and they do it right there, and they go fast, they stay in front, and then obviously again, I know I'm reiterating it because. I want you guys to keep it in your head. Just look at the target combo speed, all right? And that's slow. Um, again, if they just command jump right away, 
It's always gonna it's always gonna stay in front. Block, tree, whatever. Oh, maybe not. You see? I'm a liar. Nah, but um yeah, I actually did it kinda of delayed. It's just the autopilot timing now. But basically, if you do it uh slow, um you're gonna cross up like a lot more often. So one more time. Nah, whatever. One more time. Alright, so um next. You're probably like spam. That's freaking dumb. Is there a way to remedy this a little bit? Like, like, is there something I could press or something? Unfortunately, no, it's it's meaty. But there's hitbox issues, right? Um, with uh, characters. Like, uh, I know if you guys seen like the Ken forward dash. If you have a thing that kind of like has this weird pushback mechanic, where it messes up your hitbox, then it's definitely something you want to look into. And I'll show you something with Sim. I just want to reiterate one thing. So, um with the big body characters right so if you're gonna play you're like damn i need this mix up maybe it's like end game scenario um you could do this mix up like boom boom and then and then uh reset them but the thing you want to do instead of dashing because when you dash you're just going to stay in front something happens when in the air and i guess their hitbox is too wide it doesn't let you dash on there or something but if you do um you, uh, regular command dash, you go and then you get meaty uh, target combo uh, stuff. So, uh, big body characters, the remedy is that you and that you do regular like command dash. Okay. So, well, remember if you're a big body character, look for that, or just in general, because some people don't know how to cross up. Like I said, they're just probably rookie uh, abuki players, and they're just like, fuck it, let me just do it this way, right? Um, okay, so with the hitbox thing, right? Like I was saying with the pushback. So what you're gonna see is that some characters have weird mechanics. I know Kenka Forward Dash, like I said. I know Laura could press like jab or something. Um, so a lot of Abukis, when they want to rinse and repeat the, the mix-up, you kind of want to um, do the stand medium kick because it's plus two and then, you know, there's great damage and it's easier to confirm, right? And uh, you're gonna be plus if you mess up at best. And it's easier to hit confirm, basically. And you know when when Ibuki does uh, you know target combo, it does it does significantly, significantly less damage. So 207, that's that's still a lot of damage in my book for a reset. And then um, 232, so 25 less damage. But the reason you might want to do it on some characters, you know, is because there's a hitbox issue. So Sim has this weird uh, little problem. He's gonna mash jab real quick. All right, all right. Let me do it. Again. All right, there we go. So, um, all right, let's get him. All right, so let's say Sim does something dumb and press jab and wake him. You know, you know, people are retarded in this game, so they're gonna do it. Um, but it's actually not a stupid option, okay? So if you're an Abuki player and you see this happen, I'm gonna show you the adjustment. But for now, if you're on the blocking end of this mix-up, where you're like, oh damn, I have to deal with this. Frick. Oh, all right, whatever. Uh, you're gonna have to maybe press this. You know why? So you're gonna look for the stand medium kick. If they keep resetting you with stand medium kick into stand medium punch, this is probably the best way to do it. And I'll show you what I mean. All right. So he, I'm probably gonna get counter hit set up if I could hit him. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's the, that's the remedy for the remedy. But uh, basically, see. All right. You guys probably missed it, but basically what is happening is my tar my uh, medium punch is whiffing. Oh, right there it didn't, but as you can see, right, see? It, that's what's going to happen. So what's the remedy for that uh, as an Ibuki player? So if, you, if you're getting hit with the stand medium kick, if you have something that could destroy your hitbox, do it, okay? Um, so the remedy for this as an Ibuki player is, let me get a jump in, please, God. You just, you just do that. You do, I messed it up because I think that was too far. See, that's the thing. See, this is a good risk to take for it in, in some instances. But it does work on standing in this video for some reason. It's not. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, again, if you're a big body character, block front. If you're playing rookie Ibuki players, just look at the speed of the target combo, okay? The faster, um, the faster you do it, the more likely you're gonna stay in front. Delay, the delaying is hard. That's that's the thing, cause 
when you delay it, you have this weird, like... Just let me hit you, buddy. Alright, I guess, I guess Sim's not letting me do it, but... <laughs> Basically, when you're doing it, the, the timing is weird. See, because if I delay it, right, it might not even come out, so I waste my mix up. So, just look for the delay, and then you will be good to go. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, one more time. Big body characters. Watch the front. If you want to stay in front, Mbuki players, um, faster target combo. And you jump right when the explosion hits, okay? Um... If you want to cross up, delay, delay it a little bit. Jab, then boom. Press it like you, you got to practice it. It's very, I don't think it's very difficult to do, but it's definitely, it takes some practice to get it consistently. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that helped, and I'll see you next time. Peace.